Today on Termata TV, we take a look at what learners across Termata have been up to since we started school three and a half short weeks ago. The Finno have been taking a deep dive into swimming lessons at Liz Van Wheely Swim School. We check out what they've been up to. And finally for Potama this week, we check out how we should be moving around the school. Well, holidays may be over, but the fun doesn't stop there. Let's check out what our learning spaces have been up to for the last couple of weeks since we returned to school. We begin each day in Otani Wainuku with 20 minutes of fitness and 20 minutes of mindfulness to get our bodies moving and get us ready for learning. Half of our hub has been at technology in Hika Ate Aoi this week, learning skill to make um, caricatures and hard materials and banana bread, sausage rolls and corn and noodle fritters and food tech. We've been learning our pipiha and illustrating it using dye. We've also been creating beautiful artworks to show our understanding of Kotahi Tanga. Check in Moa too. Awesome to see you're learning this week, Taimata. Well, moving around the school is a normal thing to do at Taimata, but we should ensure we do so in a way that is respectful and considerate of others. We go over this in this week's Po Tama video. Check this out. When moving around the school in a group, line up in quite straight lines. Your learning coaches may ask you to walk in one or two lines. In your hub, you might follow your learning coach to your destination, or they might ask you to lead the line to your destination. Wait for their instructions. When moving around the school on your own or in a small group, do so quietly. When walking past other learning spaces, it's important to be quiet so you don't disrupt their learning. It's so important to ensure we're not being disrupted to other people when walking around the school. Keep up the good work, Tomata. Absolutely. 
As our year five and six swimming sports day nears closer, Pafino have been gearing up with their swimming lessons at Liz Van Wheely Swim School. Let's take a look at this. Over the past few weeks, Pafino 1 and Pafino 2 have been doing swimming at Liz Van Wheely. In our swimming groups, we learn a range of different swimming skills. We've been learning breath stroke, backstroke and tumble turns. In my group we have been learning backstroke. We've been learning how to dive. We need to remember to tuck our chins and use rocket ship arms. I love swimming and I've been learning in my group backstroke. We've had a great time for two weeks swimming at Lisbon Wheelies. Thanks Pupino and good luck at swimming sports in a couple of weeks. Let's cross over now to Mrs Fuller for this week's Principal's Chat. Kia ora everybody, this week I'm coming to you from our avocado area and in particular I'm standing up in our tree house because that gives me a really great perspective of how these trees are coming along. Not only the mature trees which were pruned quite extensively in our first year of operation but also the new ones that we planted last year so that we can continue to develop this area. I've got some exciting news this week. This week we actually start to work with Boffa Miskal who are the people that we've contracted to help us develop our playscape and landscape here at Taumata School. So over the coming weeks we're going to be collating a lot of information, some of it from you as students, some of it from our kayako or our learning coaches here, some from our community that we've collated over the last few years to actually come up with a master plan of our site. We all know that we've got some new buildings to come here in the very near future, fingers crossed, and that will be the equivalent of 13 new classrooms which will stretch out where our AstroTurf is currently. But the most important stuff that we still have to develop a master plan for is those areas that are actually going to be for you students to use, grow, test your boundaries, to test some of your skills and things and include areas like hopefully uh, a rejuvenated AstroTurf, court areas, potentially things like pump tracks or cycle tracks and things like that but also just playground space where you can get active, you can actually set yourself goals and you can actually get out there and have fun. So watch out for that. Over the coming weeks, we'll start to gather some of that information and start to work along with our Board of Trustees on developing that area. So we have a really comprehensive plan of how we're gonna grow as a school. This week, we're into week four already. So we're coming to the end of this week and already we are halfway through term one. And over the coming weeks, you will have been involved in lots of things that help your teachers to gather information about you. And part of that will feel like it's testing you, but also part of it will be the conversations that you have with your learning coaches around what your next steps may be. So enjoy that moment because this is where you really get to bring life to that learning principle, learner agency. You understand what things you are really strong in and what you can celebrate, but also, as with anybody, the things that you still have some goals to set in because everybody has to set goals. So I wish you all a fabulous end to this week. I look forward to next week signalling that we're halfway through the term and uh, have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Ka kite. Thanks, Mrs. Fuller. Great to hear from you. Well, that brings us to the end of our show this week. Have an awesome weekend. We'll see you next week. Kia kite anō. Mate wa.